So I'm so proud of him and I know that many of you may actually like think that he's cute too. Like look at him. And I know that some of you guys may be like, well, I like the, the painting, I don't like the sculpt. And, or I like the sculpt, I don't like the painting. Like everybody have their preference, but for me, I just wanted you guys to really like understand why some babies to me, they be so special and then I, I move on to something else. And it's not that they're not special anymore, but now I'm on to the next challenge. And I think that what keeps me into this hobby and even though I'll be like oh I'm gonna leave I'm, I, I'm not gonna paint anymore I'm I'm done you know I think what keeps me um like here and wanting to do more and I keep buying kits like crazy is because um it's all it's so much to learn like there's so much more i need to get better at there's so much stuff that i need to perfect and so you know it the fun part is creating something different which is why i i'm not a cookie cutter artist um i i don't paint my babies all the same you know i do have just like everybody you know most people should if they are working from their own you know, creative space, you have some type of painting style. There are certain things that I'm going to do to all my babies that I just, I do it without thinking about it. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I just did that. Like, I, you know, and I, and I realized that I did it after I've done it, you know. Um, but I think that, uh, For me, you know, there's something unique with each baby. Um, and like to paint the same sculpt the exact same way is even more, you know, unusual for me. Um, I don't, I don't have any fun in that. Like it's, it's very hard to do. I'm actually trying to paint a, a, a kit close to one of my personal babies in my collection. I've been trying to get that little thing out for the longest and I just, it's been pretty challenging. My battery's going dead. Never mind. Bye.